Raba Kashata Raba Kashata. Here we are in Colombia, South America, overlooking the beautiful city of Medellin. Just 12 years ago, Medellin was known as the murder and kidnapping capital of the world, the drug capital of the world. People did not want to come to Medellin. But today, just 12 years later, as the Spirit of God has been moving over this nation, we're seeing revival, we're seeing signs and wonders and miracles, and we're even seeing a transformation in the political arena, the government, and God is moving here in South America. God's moving in Medellin, Colombia, as well as other parts of South America. And we just finished up a whole weekend of revival, healing, miracle meetings, and we saw the power of God poured out and we were so happy to be able to minister with pastors Andrew and Kathy McMillan of the of the Community of Faith Church here in Medellin, Colombia. We ministered to over 5,000 people during the weekend and I'm telling you what we had miracle meetings, we had impartation times, we laid hands on thousands of people for the impartation of the Holy Spirit and I was just so excited to see the hunger and the thirst of the people just desperate for more of God and I'm telling you that we really are in the midst of a global outpouring of the Holy Spirit we're seeing God move throughout the nations of the world and there is such a a, a, a people that are ready for God here in South America you know just the vibrant worship pressing in after God and and the miracles the, the presence of the Holy Spirit if, if there's anything I could share with you today just the the, the manifested presence of God God moving up upon people, some of them, many of them, even for the very first time in their lives, experiencing the glory of God. And, and I know on Friday night, we had a healing service, a miracle meeting, and we saw people healed. There were several women during the service that were instantly healed of their tumors. As, as the Lord spoke to me, he said, Matt, there are women here with tumors in their bodies, and I'm going to heal them tonight. And I knew by the Spirit that there were tumors being healed in the service. And as we began to call out the words of knowledge and release the, the healing presence of Jesus Christ, God's power started to sweep across this congregation, across the people, and tumors were instantly dissolved. The women came forward testifying that, that they knew that they could feel the tumors had completely been removed from their bodies. So, I mean, that's just some of the miracles that we saw throughout the weekend and I know the people were hungry they said Matt we need the impartation of this anointing we need this impartation of the Holy Spirit so on Saturday night we lay, we lined up the whole group of people thousands of them and we just went around and laid hands and prayed for an impartation of the Holy Spirit and people were receiving the presence of God people were being overcome by the presence of God and it was so much fun to, to see the, the Spirit of the Lord moving in a powerful way. And you know, throughout the, throughout the service, as we continue to pray for an impartation of the Holy Spirit, the anointing continued to grow and grow and grow, and, and, and people just received more and more and more. And there was one part on Saturday night, one part that I will never forget, as we were laying hands on people, suddenly, as I stood there, it felt like someone poured living water down over my head and it just washed over my whole body and I felt this wave of anointing come over me and and it literally caught me so much in the spirit that I could hardly even open my eyes I could hardly even continue to walk I could hardly even continue to lay hands on people because I was so overcome by the presence of God and it was such a special moment of encounter with God and you know you have those moments with the Lord where the Holy Spirit comes in such a powerful way where where you are just captivated by his presence and and I can remember that night as the Holy Spirit moved in such a special deep way that people just were caught up in that same anointing and began to weep and cry and just collapse on the floor under the power of God so we're seeing just such a move of the Holy Spirit here in South America. And I know that as God pours out His Spirit and as God is sending us to the nations of the world, 
And I'm telling you, we're seeing the same move of God everywhere we go. We're seeing the Holy Spirit move in revival here in, in, in this country. We're seeing it in the United States. We're seeing it in, in India. We're seeing it in Africa. We're seeing it in Europe. It's a global outpouring. It's a season of harvest and the salvations that came in. It is a season of harvest. God, people are coming to know Jesus Christ. They're getting saved. They're getting healed. They're getting delivered. Their lives are being transformed. And it's an amazing time to be alive in the kingdom. Amazing time to be alive. And, you know, I, I have to give you an invitation today. If you say, God, I want to see worldwide revival. God, I want to be a part of laying hands on the sick. God, I want to have a part in seeing people set free and, and seeing people come to know Jesus Christ. And if that is your heart and you just say, God, there's a fire on the inside of me and I have to go and I have to do the works, the greater works that Jesus prophesied that I, that I would do. I want to give you an invitation today. We're going to be bringing teams with us overseas to South America, into Africa, into India, even into Europe. I want to give you a personal invitation today to not only come with us and see the world changed by the power of God, but also to come and just experience experience what the Holy Spirit is doing around the world. Right on our website, you can go right on to our Global Harvest Missions page and you can download all the information right there right there on the website you can download the application you can download all the information that you would need to be able to join us on one of these international journeys of a lifetime i know your life will be changed and i know the lives of other people will be changed because of your service to god because of the anointing that you will flow in and release into the lives of the people we are just so excited and we want you to be a part of it so please pray consider consider coming on one of these trips with us and just seeing the power of God and experiencing the power of God move through you to see the lives of multitudes changed by the power of God. It's an exciting day here in Medellin, Colombia. The sun is shining. The glory of God is moving upon the city and we're seeing transformation happen as the Spirit of God is being poured out. Hallelujah.